This Tobacco University lecture is going to focus on different types of explosives. So first off, we have the low explosives, and these um, have escaping gases of about 3,000 feet per second, uh, and they're kind of a crucial element is a physical mixture of oxygen and fuel. Examples are black and smokeless powders. These are a mixer, mixture typically of potassium nitrate, charcoal, and sulfur. Smokeless powder is a nitrocellulose and perhaps a nitroglycerin uh, kind of compound there. Getting into high explosives, well, these have a much quicker uh, velocity. The escaping gases uh, pr approach 10,000 feet per second, and it's usually oxygen uh, contained in, f in a fuel molecule. Two types, we have the initiating, which is sensitive and will detonate rapidly when subject to heat or shock, and it's used to um, denote other explosives from an explosive uh, train. We also have non-initiating, which is relatively insensitive, requires heat or shock to kind of cause that chain reaction to occur, and this includes, for example, uh, the ever-famous uh, TNT. We have also chemical um, explosives as well, uh, and these are ammonium nitrate, fuel oil, uh, ANFO, typically referred to as uh, black powder, and dynamite would be classified under that commercial explosive category. Then we have military explosives. So um, C4, which is um, also known as um, RDX, uh, when we have a whole bunch of others that can be mixed with TNT uh, to make grenades and other forms of explosives used in military uh, settings. Lastly, keeping with the military, sadly something that the military has to deal with a lot of are called IEDs, and these stand for Improvised Explosive Devices. And these are typically low explosives, but they're placed in confined containers, which is what makes them so dangerous. An IED is a bomb uh, constructed and deployed in ways other than the conventional military action, sadly typically put along roadsides so that when uh, opposing military vehicles come by, then they are detonated at that point. They may be constructed of conventional military explosives, such as artillery rounds attached to a detonating mechanism. And IEDs are commonly used as roadside bombs, and that's typically what you see here. So this is just a general um, overview of the different classifications of explosives.